In this problem, we're asked to find the last two digits of a massive number, 11 to the power of 111. For this problem, though, to find the last two digits, we can practically use brute force and just do the multiplication, because multiplying by 11 is a pretty darn easy thing. So we'll carry out repeated multiplications by 11, but since we're only worried about the last two digits, we're going to do this all mod 100. So we will get the remainder of our number after a division by 100, which will just be the last two digits. Of course, even if multiplying by 11 is easy, doing it 111 times is not easy. So we're going to break that down. 11 to the power of 111 by our exponent rules is equal to 11 to the 10 to the 11, because that's 11 to the 110 times 11, bringing the total up to 11 to the 111. So we're going to focus on 11 to the 10, see what those last two digits are by using modular congruence, and then raise that to the power of 11, mod 100, and then multiply that by 11. Again, this whole time, we're going to use modular congruence so that we only have to worry about the last two digits of our numbers. I'm going to use this shorthand, so this means congruence mod 100. 11 squared, for example, is 121, which is congruent to 21 mod 100. Once we divide 121 by 100, we get a remainder of 21. This mod 100 lets us capture only the last two digits. Now, we can multiply this small number, 21, that's nice and easy. We can multiply that by 11 to see what 11 cubed is equivalent to mod 100. So, 11 cubed mod 100 is just 11 squared mod 100, which is 21, times 11, which is 231. Mod 100, that is 31. So that's how we get just those last two digits. Now let me quickly tell you how you can do this multiplication, 11 times 21, very easily. Of course, this is a pretty easy example. 11 times 21 probably isn't too difficult for you, but there is a really nice quick way to do it. To multiply a number like 21 times 11, just take the first digit, so two, and then add the adjacent digits, so three, and then write the last digit, 231. And then mod 100, that's just going to leave those last two digits behind. Now we can multiply this by itself, which is like squaring 11 cubed mod 100. That's going to bring us up to 11 to the 6 mod 100. So let's square 31. This is a quick trick to square a number like 31. Just bump it down 1 to 30, that's the nearest multiple of 10, and bump it up 1 to 32, and then add the square of the little change that we made. So 1 squared, which is 1. This is just like using a difference of squares factorization in order to find a square of a number. 30 times 32 is just 960. Add 1, that's going to be 961. So that's how you can square a two-digit number like this really easily. And there's our 961. Again, that comes from squaring 11 cubed mod 100. So this now gives us 11 to the 6 mod 100. That's 961. Mod 100 is 61, just the last two digits. And then we can multiply this, 61, by 21. That's like multiplying 11 to the 6 by 11 squared mod 100. 61 times 21 is pretty easy. I would just do 61 times 20 and then add an extra copy of 61. That's going to get us to 1,281, which mod 100 is 81. Multiply this one more time by 21. That's like multiplying by 11 squared, which will finally bring the 11 to the 8 up to 11 to the 10. For 81 times 21, just multiply 81 by 20, and then add another copy of 81. That gets us to 1,701, the last two digits of which are 0, 1, which mod 100 is just 1. So now we can answer our question, because this 11 to the 10, well, we know that has a last digit of 1. Mod 100, it's 1. So if we raise that to the power of 11, we're going to get 1, and then multiply that by 11, that will tell us what 11 to the 111 is, mod 100, which tells us what the last two digits are. Here that is written out. 11 to the 111 is equal to 11 to the 10 to the 11 times 11. But this is congruent to 1 times 11 mod 100, because we just figured out that 11 to the 10 is 1 mod 100. This guy in here, that's just like 1. 
mod 100, and then we're raising that to the power of 11. 1 to the 11, I mean, I could write that here if you like, that of course is still just 1. So it's just 1 to the 11 times 11 mod 100, which is just 11 mod 100. The mod 100 means that we're getting the last two digits, the ones that would remain after a division of 100. So this is our answer. The last two digits of 11 to the 111 are 1 and 1, which just looks like another 11. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or your own solution to this problem. If you want to see some more interesting math problems, check out my playlist in the description. And please consider supporting the channel by joining as a member for access to early and exclusive videos and other extra bonuses too. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count with calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter the rapidest happens like this my lectures the most prominent dominant call me the morgan i get the compliments the union in together like any time that we intersect